Good morning, I'm Grower Fans. It is a beautiful Sunday morning, blue skies, the sun shining as you can see there. It's going to be a fantastic day. The cold, nippy, damp weather seems to have passed us by. So what's going to be happening, uh, it's probably going to be this coming Saturday at Norwood. So if you pop into Norwood, you would have seen the whole courtyard area has been set up as one magnificent vertical forest, one magnificent vertical garden. Vegetables, seedlings, berries in terms of strawberries, they're all growing. But this is where the big but is. We've got one little section, not really such a small section, probably about 120 pockets full that has not been populated with plants as yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to set that whole vertical station up on Saturday. And we would like you to be present. We would like you, if you're interested in managing and setting up a vertical garden such as this, pop into our Norwood branch, which is the corner of Nelly and Grant Avenue, at the factory, the factory, the beautiful restaurants all downstairs, at the factory in Norwood. And you will see how we set up a vertical garden such as this. And that'll be probably one of your better opportunities to see a blank canvas being filled. So I would take that opportunity and come and have a look. Now, I want to just quickly show you. Now, you would have seen and you know my story by now where the strawberries start running and then we cut them. And we cut them because if you don't cut them, they don't flower. And if they don't flower, they don't fruit. So you will see here, ladies and gentlemen, you will start seeing an abundance, an abundance of strawberries and flowering starting to take place. No matter where I go, you have strawberries, strawberries, and a hell of a lot of more strawberries coming through. But besides the strawberry story, as you always hear me talk about, it's about the herbs and the vegetables as well. The herbs and the vegetables on a vertical plantation, a vertical forest, a vertical garden, whatever you want to call it, it is there. You'll see again, you'll see beautiful lettuces and let the sun shine on it that you can see. Healthy, crisp lettuces. We've got beetroots. We've got, oh gosh, we've got rosemary. We've got sage. We've got peppers. We've got coriander. We've got spring onions we've got it all so ladies and gentlemen pop into home growers even in our kensington branch this is where i am right now and you will see this beautiful setup now this strawberry here is going to be a magnificent baby look at the size of that strawberry it is huge 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 vilma guest hello vilma haven't seen you in yonks nice to see you online sagi ready lovely to see you Silafani Rosie, lovely to see you as well. And it's always too beautiful to see some of the people that pop onto the screen, same name, faces that I haven't seen in a heck of a long time, but it's always beautiful to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, pop into Home Growers and pop into Bean to Earth Cafe. We are getting ready for some beautiful scrumptious, hot, delicious, some of the most incredible breakfasts and meals and lunches that you are yet to taste. And that is only at Bean to Earth Cafe in Kensington. 115 Langerman Drive in Kensington, Johannesburg. Have a fantastic day, everyone, and we'll be speaking to you soon.